Hi there. I'm just going to basically do a little um, write up about this glue and how you apply it and how it kind of prints with it or handling it in general. I'm just going to quickly just show you that, you know, this is the glue I use. You can see I've applied two coats. One is kind of general area there and then that which was basically covering up parts that I've taken off too many times which kind of leave these patchy areas and then the, obviously the, the whole thing which I've applied first time around. Um, now this is just as you can see a print I've done recently. I've chipped my gloss early on when I was just learning the whole print a couple of months back or nine months back but um, that's the same glue I'm using now actually. I just put a hammer and a hammer and a book to it like put the book book edge against it and hit it with a hammer and it just chips the glass off so <laughs> yeah don't do that um, but yeah now I kind of use this it looks a little bit overkill but gives me a lot of pressure at certain points and I don't have to like crush it basically use your common sense you know don't use too much force but I always try to take parts off with my fingers first and it's very delicate because I've got this really thin stringy area here so uh, I'll just kind of do that now and so you can see how I do it and I don't damage it in the process so there you go um, I did squash it a bit too much here, but I guess I was just in a rush to show you um, the rest of the video, even though it doesn't matter because I can pause it out later. But anyway, for the sake of the video, there you go, it's cut out, it's still linked, it holds together perfectly well, and whatever. Here on the edges, I don't know if you can see, I'm not going to bother zooming in, it kind of came off a bit, as did kind of this part here. I could zoom in and show you, um, there you can see that it's kind of rounded and stuff, so that came off there and that came off there, and also that bit came off there, you can see with the reflection, anyway, that's the reason for me showing you this, um, so uh, that's obviously time to change the glue, so uh, I'll be doing that next, alright, so the sink, all right, here we are by the sink. That's the, the plate there, and you can still see that outline of the logo. So obviously you just, whatever, just put water on it. Get a towel, wipe it off, and that's it. That's how easy glue is to clear, yeah? It's done. So just wipe the residue off. Make sure there's no tiny bits of that plastic. So just gently make sure it's perfect basically all right and that's that um, good enough for me. I'll probably give it a rub down on the table but uh, for the purpose of the video that's all right I'll do with that. All right so it's here back on my desk again I'm just gonna give it another wipe down to be sure even though it's this is the back I don't really need to be wiping it at all but just so my fingers don't get any moisture I guess. Got that chip in there. All right anyway it's I can't feel any bumps or lumps with my tissue so I know it's perfectly smooth even though grease reflections and not what 
but over there you can see it's kind of smooth. Alright, anyways, now the glue. So I'm gonna be using Pritt Stick Power. So uh, that's what I've been using, that's what I found to be alright, or the strongest glue that I've um, encountered in my local corner shop. So I've been using it for a long time and to be fair there's not much left, I don't know, half left or more. And um, the way I apply this is literally just like a printer, well, line by line by line by line by line. Um, I think my mate's been using this for art projects or something, so I'm just going to wipe off the first layer. Alright, and now it's kind of cleaner. Anyway, here goes, this is it, just laying it out flat. And trying not to go over the top of itself, because if you lay too many layers, it's, it's just going to get too lumpy, and you want to avoid all lumps at all costs. So, uh, kind of look at it, hopefully you'll be able to see it go on in the light. I'm just going over those little holes that I see every every now and then. I've kind of gone to the ends as well, just to make sure everything's covered. I think I was wobbling a bit there. But like I said, I, d I shouldn't really be going over any areas because it is all covered. But if you look in the light, you can see it anyway. I think that's going to be fine for the purposes of this video. So there you have it. Generally evenly-ish applied, again, in a very thin layer. I'm just going to leave this for a second, but it's already um, scratch-proof. And once it's been heated up, it, you won't be able to scratch it. Um, I think it's still, you know, still slightly dry, so I don't want to do it too much now, but generally that's it. Um, but to be honest with you, maybe I should have gone a little bit heavier, but essentially that will give you at least 5 to 10, because um, you do want it all that kind of greyish kind of colour, so you can see exactly how heavy it is. But anyway, to the printer. Alright, here we are by the printer, printer's finished, whatever. Here's the plate that I've just done, so obviously I've taken it off and I'm just going to slide it back on and clip these things done. Now I'm just going to kick a print off because if you have a calibrated printer then you don't, and you don't move that platform too much, you don't need to calibrate it every single time like some people think you do. It's just, you know, take a bit of care taking it off. Okay, these bits I just use these pliers. So literally just, you know, open it that way, open it that way, because they are kind of sharp. It would have been kind of nice to have like some silicone pads on them. And then you kind of wobble it left and right, and you take it out. Put it back in. Close it, done. Essentially, again, you know, if you want me to take it out again after a print, whatever, da 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 da. And you take it back out. And you put it back in. Let's put it back in the other way, even though there's no difference. And 
All right, well now we're going to kick the print off. My setup, the build platform I think is hot enough, or is heating up. I'm just um, heating up the nozzle so that it kind of stabilizes because that's one of the things that causes stuff not to stick is that during the initial start of the print, then um, the temperatures vary a bit at the beginning, which caused the, the first couple of layers not to stick because it might be up at 210 one minute and then 203 or something the other minute and that's you know too much of a gap for some f kind of uh, filament to not stick so you'll think oh yeah it's going great and then suddenly what why isn't it sticking that's because the temperature is fluctuating so I kind of generally leave the temperature to chill out again kind of around the two if I'm printing a 210 then I'll turn up to 211 12 13 and 14 at the beginning and then wait for it to bounce down too much and then to slowly turn it down so it's at two 04, 203, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 now, 9, 10, alright, so I'm going to basically kick off a print now and hope that it sticks even after taking the plate off three or four times off. then get it a little bit closer to the plate by turning clockwise I think so I'll we'll see in a minute basically follow the skirt lines around as it's going now looking at them, analysing them, this is kind of a bit messed up there and then, um, you know, obviously go from there. All right, I'm just going to stop it there. Alright, that's the print done, hold on. Pretend it's done, it's not done but as far as I'm concerned it's it looks alright. Um, so I'll do the usual, take off the thing. Slide it off the plate. <coughs> All right. So now there's the plate with my new logo on it. So I'm pretending, you know, that printed perfectly. It's all the all of it came out in the back so you can see so all of the skirt lines are even there normally half of them I kind of tweak with so anyway I'm just gonna take this off just pay attention to what the glue looks like underneath once I've taken it off by the way because that's kind of what you're looking at because if it's obviously degraded then um, that's not what you want. Anyway, this is all kind of one piece that's stuck together. And there's your plate. As you can see, you cannot see the word psychosis on it anywhere. It's completely smooth. So I can put that back and print the same thing on many times until it starts eating away at that. But if you look in the light, then it hasn't done it. So back to the printer we go. camera going. Put the plate back in first. Alright. Now unfortunately I've been letting it cool off. 
So I'm just going to quickly heat it back up again. Timed it all right, actually. All right, that's enough for the second time. I'm just going to stop that now. As usual. Again, take this down. <clears throat> oh, I took the other one off. So, I'm going to take this one off now. Alright, so there you have it again. Do you see psychonosis on there? No. And I've taken it off twice now. So the next time I print it, I'm just going to leave it. All right, back to the thing. <clears throat> the tray again, as you saw before. <clears throat> All right, I've uh, let it cool down again, damn it. All right, maintenance. Here we go. Third time in a row. All right, I'm just going to leave that, there you go. Just so you see that it's printed all fine. Um, and now I'm just going to show you the, the height. Just to show you that nothing has uh, raised off the platform. It's completely flat and all stuck as expected. So um, there you have it. You don't need to reapply the glue or realign the plate every time you change it or every time you do a print. Alright, that's going to be done in the morning. Thanks for watching.